Hello guys, welcome to AI Sciences. I am your instructor Sajjad Mustafa and today we are going to talk about Google Map Automation. So if you want to integrate your Google Map into any one of your application uh, by using Python, so this would, video will be very helpful, helpful for you guys. We are going to make use of Selenium in this video and following is the agenda. Uh, initially we are um, we are, we are going to start with installation and uh, of, of Selenium and then we are going to talk about Google Maps and everything will be done by using Python. So let me give you a brief uh, introduction of what we are doing. So let's say we open a Google Map over here, right? And we want to go from let's say any city from let's say Paris right so we go, want to go from Paris we type Paris over here and then we click on search bar and then we go to directions right and then we um, uh, write our uh, starting point over here so let's say we want to go to Paris from let's say London right and then we again uh, click on it uh, on, on the search bar and here we go here we have a few suggestions if we go by train it will take 2 hours 25 minutes if we go by via via car uh, it will take 6 hours 31 minutes and uh, the total distance is 286 miles and if we go via aeroplane it will take 1 hour 10 minute okay so uh, what if we need th these informations in our one of our applications that we are building we don't want to open this map right so how how can we do that one way to do is we can make use of uh, very difficult apis and the other way to do is by using web scrapping and we are going to make use of web scrapping and the selenium library library provides us the facility of of um, making use of web scrapping so let's uh, let's go straight to to the python um i i hope we are clear right um, by now we are clear what we are going to do right so first of all we will install uh, selenium um that's how we install selenium we'll say pep install selenium right so that's how we just write this command and we run it since i have already installed this library on my machine so i don't have to run it run it but if you want to install it at your machine that's how you install it right and then what we do is we'll say from first of all we'll import selenium so we'll say sele, selenium we want to import the web driver right and then yeah we want to import web driver and then we want to import time as well uh, later on I'll, I'll explain why why do we need uh, time from time we want to import sleep right okay the other thing is um, here we want to import the drivers for uh, for the for the browser right so we'll say driver equals to you you need some some of the browser if you want to work with selenium right so uh, and later on you'll see what what do I mean by this so I'll say web driver dot Chrome so we are going to work with Chrome and here I'll I'll paste the address of of the driver where uh, this driver is available inside my my computer. So if we go to Chrome drivers website, from here you can download your um, your uh, desired driver. It has uh, currently it has three drivers with uh, it has uh, drivers with three variants: 98, 99, and 100. You can see which driver driver supports your computer the best, and then you can download it by clicking this button, right? So uh, if I if I go to my folder here, I have I have read, I have uh, uh, already downloaded that driver. So I'll just copy this link of driver, right? So I'll just copy it. I'll come back to my coding screen and I'll paste it over here. The next thing that I want to do is I want to open the I want to open uh, I want to open the Chrome over here so inside the Chrome what do I want to open I want to open the Google Map so I want to write the Google Maps URL over here so this URL right so uh, let me go back again and okay so if I click over here and I open Google Maps the first URL that that comes over here right this one so I need th this URL so I'll copy 
this and I'll paste it over here, right? So initially what I'm doing is I'm just importing the drivers and here what I'm doing is I'm opening the Google page, right? A Google map page, right? Awesome. Okay, so the first thing that we do in Google map to, um, uh, we add some location, let's say we add Paris over here, right? So first of all, we have to get access of this cell, right? So what can we do? We can get access of this cell by, by two things. Number one, we can get uh, access by using its class name. The other thing is we can get access by XML path. What do we mean by these two things? I'll explain it to you right now. So first of all, let me write a method over here. I'll say define search place, right? Let me do it something like this, okay? No, let me do something like this, okay? So define search place and it will receive nothing. So here I'll say place equals to driver dot find element by class name. Okay, so first of all, I want to um, I want to find element by class name. What do we mean by this? If I go back over here and if I click, if I right click over here, right? Right click and then I go to inspect. And here I'll click on this uh, mouse arrow thing right once now it, it has become blue now I'll drag it over here now I'll, I'll just click it over here as well right and here you can see that it has highlighted the HTML portion that is responsible for this thing so from here I want to uh, I want to copy the class name so let's find it out where it is where it is how oh, let me let me drag it over here just to see Oh, accidentally I closed it. I didn't want to close it. Okay, so I'll, I'll go again over here and I wanted to do something like this. So here is the class name. So this is class equals to, um, let me copy this thing. So this class is assigned to this search box, right? So I've copied it from there to here, right? And then I'll say, place that I have already uh, this variable place so place dot send keys and here the send key method actually uh, helps us writing any um, anything over there so we want to write Paris right and then after writing the Paris what do we what, what do we usually do we click on this search icon right so if we click on this uh, first of all let's get uh, let's again select this blue icon and um, let's select this white, white icon and it will become blue and let's click on this search button right and here you can see that now this HTML is responsible for this search icon right okay so uh, we, we can either um, get this uh, this search icon or this button by using its class or the other thing is the easiest thing is you can right click over here under the copy drop down you can see copy full X path so it will copy the whole XML path of this button, right? So if I, if I go back over here, I'll paste it over here. here. Here you can see that. It actually gets the whole path of its ancestors and everything. So yeah, I need that. Um, I'll say, let's say submit, right? Because I want to submit this request that I want to search for Paris. So here I'll say driver dot find element by xpath right now we have xpath so we'll just paste this xpath over here awesome and then what do we want to do we want to click it so we will say submit dot click and that's it so we have done two things this um, search thing this uh, yeah we, ha we have to do one more thing bef before coming to this search place thing first of all we want to give uh, good enough time to our browser so that it can render this page. So uh, Once this command will be executed. It will take some time in rendering this page So for that time we have to do we have to say sleep for let's say two seconds, right? So uh, This is the reason why we imported sleep from time because we want to give some time to the browser so that it can execute this command, right? Okay, so so far we have searched the place or in other words if we go back over here uh, let me close it and I'll, I'll click over here so we have done this much work right so let, let me let me execute this thing that we have done yet so I'll, I'll copy this function I'll 
just paste it over here and it will be executed so let's run it yeah it will uh, it will show some of the errors no problem and here you can see that a window is opened and it has executed this path and here you can see that it has written, written Paris over here and then it clicked over this icon and this is where we have reached so let me close this awesome so we have we are able to search Paris now the next thing is we want to click on this button right we want to click on direction button so let's go back let's say define direction button right and here we'll say let's say first of all we want to wait so that this thing will be executed so we'll say sleep um, let's say sleep time uh, sleep time is eight seconds it, it really de depends upon your internet speed right and then we'll say direction equals to uh, let me call it direct right so so that you don't get confused with this direction and this direction method right so here I'll say I'll say direct driver dot find element by X path just the way we did before what we'll do we'll right click over here we will go to inspect element okay and here we will select this icon over here and we'll go to directions button we'll right click over here we'll copy the full X path we'll paste it over here inside the string awesome we have this button over um, with us in Python and here we'll say direct right direct dot click just the way we did with the submit button right so our, our direction button is also clicked and uh, and also let's execute this action over here let's copy this and let's let's paste it over here right so we have searched the place we have we have uh, clicked on direction button as well let me let me click on this button right let's see what happens so it opens up this this thing now the next thing is what we usually do is we 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 sell we write the the starting point point over here which is London in our case so exactly the same thing that we did uh, previously with the search place we want now we want to um, we want to find uh, I mean we want to uh, we want to write the starting point over here right so let me let me copy this code from here um, yeah a a actually yeah let, let's copy this and let's make some changes into it so here I'll say uh, let me say let me call it start point P -O -I -N -T. yeah let's let me call it start point and from here le let's find it by using X path right and what would be the X path so let's go back let's select our buddy and let's click over here let's right click over here let's copy the full X path let's go back over here and let's just paste it over here awesome great and then we want to write not London but uh, not Paris but London over here right and then where do we want to click we want to click on let's say after writing London we want to click on this button right so let's select this button um, oh sorry let's uh, we want to select this button right so let's inspect it let's copy its path and replace it with this one right okay so now London is over here London will be replaced uh, will be written over here and then this button will be clicked right right J just the way I've clicked right now and it is searching researching and this window will be displayed right and um, again one thing before before running this thing we want to do something like sleep for eight seconds again so that the previous thing is uh, completely executed all right so let's also write this method oh uh, where where are we let's write this method in our list as well right okay now uh, what do we want to do we want to print these this information right okay now things are pretty much pretty much same so we'll say print right so uh, and by the way we are right now we are at this window right so we'll say print um, let me say print info and in this thing first of all we'll say sleep for I don't know eight seconds 
and then um, we'll get the distance first so distance right distance equals to um, here I'll say driver dot again find element by X path right so here uh, the distance is available over or where um, <laughs> I think distance is not available over anywhere let me search it again um, let me write only London over here yeah we want to, to write London not London United Kingdom then we search it and then here you can see that uh, no we don't have that over here let me see okay so it looks like there is no um, there is no direct way uh, there is no uh, information available um, on the Google map about the distance between Paris and London so let me replace Paris with Birmingham right so let me write Birmingham over here which is another city of UK okay so here if I go over here here you can see that uh, with with car uh, if we go via M40 it takes 128 miles right so we want this information we, we need this 128 miles right so I'll, I'll just click over here I'll click over here and then I'll, I'll copy its full path I'll go back to my code I'll paste it over here and then here I'll say I want now now I want to print the distance right so I'll say print distance distance right and just for for the sake of formatting okay and here I want to say distance dot text and that's it it will display the text within the within this element right and let me also change this Paris to Birmingham okay um, what are the spelling of Birmingham let me copy this yeah let me copy this and let me paste it let me replace it with Paris uh, with Paris yeah so now we want to go from London to Birmingham and we want to display the distance and also we want to we want to print this information over here awesome great so let me run it and what will happen it will open up a Chrome window why because we are using the we are using Chrome drivers and then it will search for Birmingham then it will go to the direction button then then it will uh, fill up the information about London and then it will click on uh, on finding the path of uh, finding the information and then it is just printing the information right so let's run it and let's see where is our new window executed um, yeah it is over here you can see that Chrome is opened it has written Birmingham search for Bir Birmingham and then um, it has it is waiting because we have uh, added sleep to it and then it has clicked on direction button then it is uh, at starting point it will it is waiting and then it will write uh, London over here awesome and then it will click on search button probably after waiting um, yeah, yeah yeah go for it go for it go for it buddy I think we have added a lot of sleep time over there let's go back to the code uh, mm -hmm. or is there any error yeah there is an error um, in printing the info we have an error over here so let's see um, perhaps we have not added um, uh, perhaps this this path is not uh, well defined because it, it it did not click this button over here right so let's check it out let's go to our th our this map and after writing this it should it should click it should have clicked this button right um, okay so okay so let's let's again right click on this button inspect it and from here let's copy and copy its full path and replace it over here and let's see if there is any yeah yeah previously we made a mistake here you can see that now X path is a, is a little bit different right so let's hope it will it will work fine now let's run it and where is the new window here is the new window it will search for um, Birmingham first and then it will click on direction button after waiting obviously because there is a sleep command in the code um, then it will write London over here and we really want it to click on that search button after 
writing London over here. Yeah, I think it clicked on search button as well because here you can see that it is, it is um, uh, getting some results over here, right? So it should have printed 128 miles in the code. So let's go back. There are a lot of warnings. So yeah, awesome, great. So it has printed distance equals to 128 miles. Beautiful, awesome. So here you can see that this is how we can get information from the Google map. Um, now, the quiz, quiz question. Um, can you get information of how long it takes? Um, I mean, how much time does it take if we go via car? We need to get access of this element, right? So let me close it from here and let me open it over here. Uh, but before that, uh, let me copy this, right? Because we want to print it again. But now we, we don't want to print the distance. We want to print the time, right? Time via car. So here, um, over here, we want to get value. That we want to get this value, right? So let's select this mouse thing, click over here. And this is what we are getting. We are going to copy its full path, full X path. And here we are going to replace this path over here, right? Let me replace it. And then here I'm, I want to print the text of time via car. So let me run it, let me run, run it again. Now it should print distance along with the time that it will take. So let's run it. It will again open a dummy window for us over here right so it will take some time so I'm going to pause the video for you guys and I'll back when it will be executed great so it has executed so let's go back to the code and let's see what it has printed so it should have printed uh, 128 miles and 2 hours 34 minutes right so let's go back over here a few warnings yeah awesome so here here you can see that it is printing um, distance equals to 2 hour 32 minutes and distance equals to 128 miles why because we have we have not uh, changed these these strings over here right so i mean you can play around with it uh, you can write your name over here as well so yeah that's that's about it this is what we are we were going to do and uh, Let's go back over here. So yeah, we are AI Sciences. If you like this video, do subscribe the channel. And also, and th there's a link in description where you can check out a lot of courses for artificial intelligence on our website that includes artificial neural networks, RNN, CRN, reinforcement learning, computer VN, and whatnot. A lot of courses. And we designed our courses specifically in a way that it will help the beginners a lot. Thank you very much.